So when I got to Jet, we were publishing three times a month. Now we publish every three weeks. Mm -hmm. And the reason that I scaled back is that I realized based economics versus product. For the amount of money that we had in the budget, we weren't going to be able to deliver a strong enough product that many times a month. And at the end of the day, people value quality over quantity. I would be hearing from people like, I love Jeff, but I don't, I don't subscribe because I feel like every time I turn around and say my mailbox is too much, I don't even get to read the last one before the first one comes, and I can actually get everything from the internet. I'm never, we're never going to beat the internet. And that was what I had to explain to everyone. It's, it's not possible. The internet is changing and growing and, and redefining as we sit here. So why not scale back to a schedule where we can deliver a great product that has some merit and that offers readers something that they'll remember a whole lot more service. So instead of before, Jet would deliver the news, did a great job of kind of reporting what had happened. Now what we do is we talk about still what is the news, what are the top stories, what is the you know the most pressing current conversations going on, but also what can our readers do with this news? Why does it matter to them? Like so, say I'm telling you about I don't know. There's new blue cars out. I'm not only telling you new blue cars are the hot thing. I'm telling you why you need you should know that they're the hot thing. How it's going to affect your ability to get other color cars and where to go for more information. Because, as he mentioned before, it's a small magazine. So I'm, realistically, I'm not trying to give you everything. I'm giving you a hot snippet and sending you along your way. What you'll remember is, oh, I heard about those blue cars. And I heard about it in Jet. And you'll pass that along to somebody else. And that's how we keep going. And that's how I keep the brand part of the current cultural conversations. Providing service. Providing something that people will always remember and talk about.